Hello everybody, welcome back to Carrie Does Stuff. Hope you're doing well. Oh, let me just turn my voice down just a smidge. There we go. Ah, oh, right, okay. So welcome back. And um, welcome back to my model bench. Uh where we'll be uh continuing to work on my Apollo uh, Apollo 5 Saturn 11. No, Saturn Saturn 5 Apollo 11. Ah, oh, I always get it mixed up. Saturn 5 Apollo 11 rocket. Uh, today we're going to just finalize the painting um, and do a bit of dry brushing uh, and then we're going to put it all together uh, well put, put stage one together uh, so we're going to have stage one hopefully complete by the end of this stream um, so yeah then we're going to have to see what we're going to do about stage two i like that it comes in stages it's easy to section out into my brain it's like that's stage one that's stage two that's stage one. so anyway now we're going to pick up from where we left off so we got the we got uh, these fins which have all been painted nicely green inside but it looks too too clean and crisp and for industrial work for an industrial sized rocket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush some aluminium uh, on the inside to make it look as though the paint's been scraped or or uh, not quite fully coated and all that kind of stuff so we're going to do that make it look a bit more realistic and we're going to do the same for the top of the rocket uh, on top of the fuel tank as well we're going to make it look as though uh, the aluminium up there is a bit um, it hasn't been painted very well or it's been scraped or or whatnot so we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing up there just to give it a little bit of uh, detail right so let's head to the main bench where is my main bench where's my main bench there's my main bench there we go all right so first things first we're going to need to find um to find some aluminium paint uh, I want it to be I want it to be aluminium because then it will look sort of metallic uh, flat aluminium there we go this will do just gonna use some of this so let's get this down here a little bit there, come join me come join me there we go we're gonna use some Tamiya flat aluminium uh, I've got me a this is dry brushing brush <laughs> just get out of the packet so I've got me the dry brushing brush uh, that's really all there is to it um, and just uh, some tissue paper to dry the brush off with and we just sort of really just sort of get get to it dry brushing is super easy it doesn't really require too much of a artistic eye well artistic eye to decide what's what's enough but it's not really you don't need a steady hand or or anything like that let's just mix up this aluminium Ooh, that's all gloopy It's got all gloopy in there. Ugh, ugh. What's happened to that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to mix that right up. We're going to give it a good shake. So, uh, hopefully, we can get something good out of that. Oh, that hurt my arm. All right. Okay, that looks good enough. Right. So what we're going to do? We're going to take the dry brush, we dip it in the aluminium, and then we just dry it off a bit more on. Get it into the bristles is what we need to do. Right. And now simply just brush there we go I don't need to do it all the way up into it because really you're only really going to sort of see around the edge um because there's, there's going to be a big engine in here. 
so all that does is it makes it kind of look like more metallic you know that's it really that's all I need to do because the engine's going to be in here uh, you're not really going to see all the way down here um, because otherwise it would have made a better detail of it but yeah that's pretty much it that's all I need to do so I've got uh, three more of those to do just sort of I hate seeing large, flat, like, dull colours like this. I mean, I like to try and make it look a little bit worn. I know it's not worn, but, you know, nothing ever is perfectly painted. Yeah, I know it sort of shines through. The reason I use aluminium is because it's kind of got a metallic shine to it. So it depends on where the light hits it, it kicks up. That's what she said. Oh no, what was it that I said that she said? <laughs> Hi Gaia. How you doing? Ah, oh, dear oh dear. Did I say some du blond tendre? Oh, I didn't realise. Oh well, right. That's all it needs to be. A big engine going to be in there. <laughs> There's going to be a big engine in there. Right. So, again, it doesn't need to be much. But as you can see, uh, here is where I've done it. And here is where I haven't done it. It looks a little bit more, you know, sort of largely realistic. You know, as if the paint hasn't been put on quite right. It's been rushed. Or, you know, as they put the engine in, uh, it hit the sides. <laughs> you know, whatever. You're now going to make me think about that. <clears throat> anyway, how you doing today, guy? It's good to see you. Do, 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 do. So it's like scratches on the paint, really. The end of the day they didn't do a fantastic paint job on this rocket you're awake <laughs> they didn't need to do a fantastic paint job on the rocket it was going to be like just come back down to earth and get destroyed so there was not really going to be much left of it anyway it's not like they're going to use it again so yeah, there we go. It looks like somewhat decent paint job. So if we just lift this up, we're going to now unmask all of this. Um, I'm glad you're awake and you're with me right now. That's what that's the important thing. That's what's important. Oh, I need my tweezers in a minute, I'm sure of it. Alright, so that is what the fin looks like. That's going to sit on the outside. Oh, hang on, there we go. It's going to sit on the outside. And then that's on the inside where the engine goes. So, that's going to be put into place today. So, yeah, that's one.
Oh, I need my tweezers. Let me know if the music's too loud or if it's just right. Because uh, I have found recently that it is, was pretty quiet. I'm going to turn it down for myself. Right, again, there's another one. They don't look much at the moment, but they are going to look awesome when they're on the rocket. That's for damn sure. clean off. Right. Does it sound loud to you? Okay, good. Good. I was playing Red Dead yesterday and I've got this new uh, volume mixer and uh, I watched back the stream and realised that the game was a little bit too quiet for my liking. So... This new volume mixer on my OBS and on my main computer is uh, it's a bit of getting used to to get the levels and everything right. Everyone else's voices were, you know, there or thereabouts. But... So I'm very wary of volume. And there we go, that's number four. Perfect. I thought you used flat paint instead of gloss. Uh, I did for the black. The only white I had was this Tamiya white. Uh, and, it's, and it was just, it's just white. It just says white. But it came out a bit glossy. But it's taken, the, the tape has taken the gloss off, unfortunately. Uh, but it's not too bad, it looks... It doesn't look that bad. I mean, it adds something to it. I mean, it sort of adds character, I think. That it's glossy in some parts, but not. Because, like I say, it wasn't a well, well painted machine. Right. Yeah, I just used... I didn't actually use anything that was, like, technically called gloss white. I didn't use a gloss white. Um, I just used something called white, but it's apparently it's got a little bit of a natural gloss to it. All right. If we can angle this into here. This is also going to need some uh, dry brushing. The end of my rocket here. So I kind of want to sort of, again, make it look like the metallic, the, the paint hasn't quite taken very well. Yeah, it's just a bit of giving a quick. Just pick up some of these details. Right, 
might need a bit more now we've run out on it. It looks as though it's just been given a quick once over with the green paint. You know, and the, the, uh, the metalwork is still grinning through, which is what I want it to look like. Yep, that looks all great, all scratched up and whatnot. Yeah, how's that looking? Oh, that's not looking, not looking too bad. It's just, it's just a big green dome, really. There's not much you can do with that. Um, there's not that many details on it. It's just a big green dome at the top of the fuel tank. So I'm kind of making it look as though it's, you know, it hasn't been painted that particularly well. It's been scratched when they build in it. Um, not a lot of care has been taken into actually how it looks because that's not a bit that's going to be seen until it gets jetsoned right so next up we've got this now this is gonna this is gonna be i'm not too worried about this uh, but i do want to do something here um i mean it's got a bit of So what we're going to do here is we're going to, again, we're going to dry brush some, some details on it, just to pick out the nuts and bolts and stuff. There we go. And that is just picking out the rivet in, the rivets. out rivets scraping up some of the aluminium on the side here Again, this isn't a thing that is actually going to be seen every day to day, but you know, I like to do it so that if the model gets picked up, you can actually sort of turn it around and you can start to see, you can see little bits. This was on my shelf, but I decided to pick it up 
and have a look at it. I would see... I could look inside and see... I'd turn it around and I'll be able to see all the bits and pieces. Now these look like aluminium sheets that have been actually sort of fitted on there. Ah, yeah, that's been weathered up quite nicely. Look at that, you can see that. Yeah, look at that. Okay, well, that's the weathering done. Well, weathering or dry brushing or whatever you want to call it. Nothing is ever perfectly painted in a scale model world. Right, next up, we have got to put it all together. So that's the, that's the fun part. All right, so what I want to do is, because we're gonna be turning it around and around and around, I wanna lay down some protection. <clears throat> I wanna practice uh, safe construction. That's right. So it doesn't get scratched up on the, on the surface there. take all these off. Is the finished, finished oh, that's the stage one rocket. Now it's a bit dirty in places. I'm gonna probably just rub it over with a cloth later on when it's done, just to give it a bit of a, a bit of clean, just a bit of water, just some bits here that have just probably got some marks on them from something. So next we have got to put the engines on and the fins on. So let's have a look at those, shall we? There's my book of destructions. Oh, there's some parts on there I haven't painted. Okay, so there's some extra parts on here. Okay, that's not a problem. We can work those. We can paint those as we do it. Right. I actually want to put the glue somewhere safe so I don't get the rocket in it. You do a finish. Yes, I'm doing a finish. Oh, well done. <laughs> right, I'm just putting some masking tape down so I can pour some super glue out on it. That way it's going to be easy to clean up. Right, so where are my energy en engines? Now my engines are up here. Here are my engines. 
Okay, now I've got to try and figure out how they fit together. Right, okay. So. So they sort of fit on like that. Like so, that's good, right, perfect. So what we'll do now is we'll pour out some glue onto here. And we'll... I was, there you go, so I put some glue on the top and now we're just going to slot it in there like so the first energy is in the hole <laughs> I'm now doing it on purpose as you could probably tell So now we get the other one, next one. Sorry, let's just move that down here so you can see what I am doing. I am just put glue from my little pad of glue on top of the engine. Like so. And then I'm going to slot this one in this hole. There we go. That's number two. Engine number two. Looking spot on, baby. Well, oh, it's coming together now. Look at that. Right, now for engine number three. We're going to need some more glue out here. glue around the outside of the engine mount. And in the top of that. Bring it back up to here. And we're going to put it on this one, I think, this time. home it sits perfect brilliant engine number three right now for engine number four Engine number four. Fit on there. There we go. Just check to see if that stands. Yeah, it stands all right. Right. Engine number five. Going for engine number five.
Oh, need more glue. Run out of glue. Yeah. Don't want to drop the rocket. That would be a disaster. I intend to uh, I intend to make uh, an entire when I, when it's done and on its display oh Christ why is this not ah uh, okay it's a great idea I've already had it and I think I'm going to try and do it right so it's, I just got to try and leave that just got to leave that to dry yeah, because that little knob thing's come off. Right, so we're going to put that to one side for a second. Uh, yes, I have already had that idea. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to work it all out once it's all done. And it's going to go in the corner of my workshop. And it's going to look like it's taken off. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That is my intention. Right, so let's have a look here. Um, right, so it's going to go in here. If you can see my big fat finger in here. So I'm going to take get rid of all those shelves up there. And it's going to have like a, a platform on it just behind the computer. And I'm going to make it look like it's taken off with, like say, cotton wool, sprayed cotton wool and LED lights. So it's going to look awesome. But here it is at the moment. It's going in the wrong direction that's never a direction you want to see a rocket going in because it means something has ultimately gone terribly terribly wrong unless of course you're letting it dry <laughs> but I'll get this down and I'll go looking in here for bits All right, where is the Go looking for bits. Uh, what bits do I need? One, two, three, four. I think I found them. Twos. No, they're G8s. Okay, they're not. Oh, they're from the smaller engines. So. Right, so we've got to let the rocket dry because I've got to put these on. And I forgot about them, otherwise I would have painted them. But I forgot. <laughs> the fishing line tied to the ceiling so it dangled. Oh my god, I did that as a kid. All my aeroplanes were dangling from the ceiling of my bedroom. And my bedroom had a sloped ceiling, so you'd walk through my bedroom and you'd just get dogged on the head by aeroplanes. Yeah. Oh, the good old days when you were a kid, nothing else mattered. And you could just spend your whole day making models. Wait, is this right? Come here. That's better. Chopping the top of the head off. It's no good. So, you just got to let that dry now. Oh, yeah, but I've done all of that. I didn't really paint them very well because I didn't really have the paints. Um, I didn't have an airbrush or anything like that. It was just basically the paints that I got with it. And they were ha crudely hand-painted with any paints that I got with them. And then, basically, I got a bit of twine. Just a bit of sewing 
thread from one end to the other and dangled it up on a triangle and just drawing pinned it into the ceiling. And that was it. Because I had this um, kind of it was like a fiberboard ceiling because my bedroom was in the attic, in a converted loft conversion. And so it sloped down like that and the ceiling was made of like, um, there was ins insulation in there and then there was like fiberboard. So the drawing pins would fit in real nice. The trouble is they would constantly be falling out. So I'd always have these planes dropping on me when I'm doing stuff. <laughs> so not only would you walk through the bedroom and smashing your head on these aeroplanes because the ceiling was so low, but also they would fall on the floor just randomly. So that was all right. That was fun. That's what I used to enjoy doing anyway. Um, it was my dad that got me into model making, really. He uh, bought me a little train set. And they were talking about doing some model. We wanted to do some model railway. And then they just sort of started buying me model kits. You know, airplanes and stuff. I just couldn't stop doing them. I mean, you'd get Christmas and they'd, they everyone knew what to buy me for Christmas. And I'd just get him some model kits. You know, some, I, I was done by March. I had nothing left to do. <laughs> done them all. You get your Gregor, how's that model kit coming along? Have you started it yet? Oh, yeah, I've done that. I've done that back in January. <laughs> no, I've done three of them Christmas Day. <laughs> it was um, it was fun because you'd sit down with, like, your uncle, your granddad, your dad, and, you, and you'd all sit around there, just just the lads, you know, just the men all just working with sticky fingers and, and, uh, and bits of plastic and scissors. And then, uh, then you'd get your, then you get your mum or your nan come and go. Go on, go on. You have to clean off. We got to make the table for dinner. Go on, get off. <laughs> good times, good times. I remember that. Lego is another one. You know, as soon as you got a Lego kit, there was me uncle, my dad, and all, and my brother all just gathering around. <laughs> you did the cars. Yeah, I got a couple of car kits as well. I did get a couple of car kits. Um, but I think, do you know? I got I got those aeroplanes because I think it was a case of, it was a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy. It was like, the first kits I got were aeroplane kits. And so, I enjoyed doing them. And then everyone would say, what does he want for Christmas? Oh, he likes doing those aeroplane kits. So everyone would continue buying me aeroplane kits. <laughs> Because I like doing them in the first place. It wasn't just any kit. Just I specifically aeroplane kits. I like doing all of them. I like doing the cars and everything. But I did get a couple of car kits. Uh, did get the odd car kit here and there. A couple of Ferraris. I got an old Bentley. Which actually was actually um, a really good one. I was probably too young to even uh, appreciate it. It actually had a die cast metal bodywork to it. Uh, Pre-painted and glossed up. It was actually, and then you had all the thick plastic interiors, but it had an actual die cast metal bodywork to it. It was amazing, but I was too young to put it together properly to give it the um, looking back on it now to give it the actual build that it deserved. I was a bit too young, but because um, I didn't have all the airbrush and stuff. But if I got one of those now, oh, it was it was one of those old white. Was it a Bentley or a Mercedes? You know, back when the old, really old racing cars, when they were just basically bricks, you know, um, with the old running frames built by co coach builders. Yeah, those were nice, and I, and it was um, and it was just made out of it just die cast. If I got one of those now, oh, I'd go to town on that. But I was like, oh, this is great, but I didn't have any airbrushes or even the right paint, so I put it together, and I went to put the decals on for the red stripe that went over the bonnet or the hood. And fucked it up completely. Um, see, I didn't know really what I was doing. But I was having fun. I displayed it proudly, even with its flaws. Um, anyway, on to what we're doing now. Is this... Is this? Yeah, that's fixed. Right, so next up... Uh, oh, I need my um, things back. So yeah, I've always been doing model kits. Ever since I was about, you know, 10 or 11. Or well, even before that, really. Yeah, it must have been about. Yeah, got some kits. I was doing my dad's stuff for the railway and stuff and whatnot. Um, 
then I moved out, and I really wasn't interested. I didn't do anything then. And then I moved in here, and I was kind of bored because I couldn't work anymore. And uh, I was wondering what to do with my time. I mean, you can you can only play computer games for so long. I was like, I don't want to do. And I watched a James May's Toy Stories when he was building a model Spitfire um, with these school kids, and they built a one-to-one -one scale Airfix uh, Spitfire, which they had to get custom made in order to put it together, like an Airfix model. And I was like, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make model kits again. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never looked back. Gave me what I needed. Right, workshop cam. Oh no, not workshop cam. We need the main bench cam. Main bench. There we go. Oh yeah, you should totally check out Toy Stories if um, if in you want. It's an old series now, but the Spitfire one was brilliant. I did I did enjoy that. Right, so. Right, what we got to do now? according to this little book of destructions is these three or four pinned little majiggers have to fit onto the engines and the, and the engine plate and I forgot to do them so we got all these majiggers to fix in so we only got one two three four five six seven eight two for each engine the middle engine doesn't get one so let's just go clippity clippity. Now apparently these are supposed to be the same color. Apparently, these are supposed to be the same color as the engines. So that could be a bit of a wee problem. Uh, I might have to just. Oh, that's a bit. Right, this needs to need, need tidying up a bit. Let's tidy the little knobs up a bit. Got to tidy your knobs up. A bit more glue on the blue platform yes yeah, so if you get an opportunity to watch James May's toy stories highly recommend it he does he does Lego he builds a Lego house an actual full-size Lego house uh, with actual size Lego bricks like proper normal size that you would get in a Lego store um, what else does he do does a scalectrics around the um, uh, Brooklyn's racetrack. So the Brooklyn's racetrack isn't there anymore, or most of it's not there anymore. It's been bought out by Mercedes, and I know this because the company I worked for, we built the Mercedes building at Brooklyn's. Um, but the, the whole track isn't there anymore. Most of it's like housing estates and whatnot. So we had to get the house. He had to run the track through the housing estates and over the roads and stuff. And then they done a race through Brooklyn's on Skeletrics. Stock cars. You know, there's a little electric stock cars for those in the States. Uh, one of my favourites. One of my favourites was he done a model railway from... Barnstable. Oh, I can't remember where it started from. And they had the German. Uh, they had two teams. They had the British team and a German team. And the German team were the people that made that biggest railway. Uh, um, was it Wonderworld or something? And then they showed off this huge model railway that as they had got at Wonder Wonderworld. Absolutely incredible. Oh shit, that goes in the wrong one. Oh, I've just not... Oh, no. Okay, that's... Have I balked that? Should 
that be in there? It should. I balked it. I balked it, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. I balked it. Yeah, so they've done a uh, railway. Model railway. H uh, HO model railway. All the way. Barnstable. That was pretty good. But they failed it. They failed the first try. They came back a year later and tried again. I don't know why that's so balked. That one's already in there, that's in. Right, that's that one. Yeah, that's uh, Model Railway in uh, Wonder, Wonder Garden, Wonder World. Ooh, gives me fizzles. Done the plasticine garden. What else did he do? What else am I forgetting? But it was the spit, the airfix one that really, really hit it for me because I used to do that a lot as a kid. And apparently, so did James when he was a small kid. If you could believe that, er that ever such a thing was occurred. Oh, you won't. Why are you not going in there? Get in there. Oh, you don't want to go in there. Okay, fine. If you don't want to go in there, you don't have to go in there, but I will glue you to it. so bloody awkward today what's really doesn't want to fit on those engines correctly are they the same one they're all exactly the same they don't want to fit on those engines correctly all right fine don't fit on the engines correctly That's the trouble with Rebel kits. Sometimes they're really good and they fit really well. Other times they just don't. And you're like, why the hell? Usually they're pretty good. because the uh, wind's going to cover that up. They just don't sit correctly. I'll try and get as close as I can get. Alright. That's the way you want to be. That's the way you're going to stay.
Okay, that's... They're alright. They're alright. Those haven't been done. So that's alright. So yeah, I'm going to intend to have some uh, LED lights at the bottom of this to make it look like it's on its way to the moon. Well, obviously this part never actually got to the moon. This part didn't even get out of the atmosphere. It did take a nice dip into the, into the Atlantic though. We'll have to get the paintbrush out in a minute and paint these up. Right, two more to do. Oh, it's looking really good. I have to say, I'll show you in a minute. Look at this. <laughs> that looks badass. Hooey. Oh, hang on, we need to turn that over a bit. There we go. You still see that? Move it in a bit more. Oh, God, this. One more to do. Go. Okay, that's good. 
It's good. It's good. It's good. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to put this bit of plastic back because I don't need that for now. It's all good. Right. What I'm going to have to do, though, is I'm going to have to find... Um, Do I have a glossy aluminium I could use? Uh, metallic grey. What's this? Light blue. No. Oh, give me something. Chrome silver. That's stuff. That's what I want. How much is left? Oh, fair bit. That's good. Okay, so... I mean, the best job in the world, but... No, let's get a brush. Uh, decently sized, but not too big. That one I do. That one I do it. Right, let's just go mixy mixy. Good. Uh, do I have another? Yes, I do. There's only one thing for it, we're going to paint it black first, we're going to do it properly, no shortcuts, it doesn't want to do it, so we're going to keep that chrome silver out, we're going to paint it black first, give me a black, give me a black, black, yeah. no shortcuts, no shortcuts. If a work, if a job is worth doing properly, it's worth doing for last. The only problem is with this one, it's already got some silver on it, so that's going to be. that one I think <clears throat> we shall come back to that it right in here so we can see what's going on here we go it's gonna focus is that focus that's good looks good on my screen I don't know oh no I might need to go up a bit there we go that'll do The reason I'm painting these black first, again, is because metallics look way better when they're painted onto a black base coat. Now I thought I could just get away with putting that silver chrome on it as it was, but it just was too milky. It just wasn't working correctly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run through, paint these black, leave them to dry. 
and then paint it on top. And then we'll give them a bit of a wash. We've still got a bit of painting to do. Oh, look, that one isn't even... Oh, on that side, that's... Because obviously we don't want them to be white, do we? That would be wrong. I'll put the paintbrush in there. Put in there. Okay. Hey Nad, how you doing? Oh, I've got hair on there. Hello, hello, Nad. You feeling any better today, Nad? I hope so. Finishing playing RDR, okay. Doing your dailies and stuff. Did one, but got sidetracked with collecting. <laughs> yeah. As long as you've got a daily to keep the streak going, then you can go back to it and do it whatever you want. I'm up to point two at the moment for each daily. And my streak is working out nicely. So is that a bit of white in there that I can't get to? Go on, you little bastard. Where are you? No, it's not. Can't see it. Okay. Got a legendary moose. Oh, damn it, did you? Yeah, they'll all be out now that I have not looking for them anymore. Well, I'm glad somebody got him. I don't need him anymore, though. So you're welcome to him, I say. <laughs> Which one was it? The black one? Or the one in the snow? Yeah, the black one is pretty. What are you going to do with him? Send him to Crips or make a, make a coat out of him? He's 
Ah, you sold him to, uh, oh, okay, sold him to, yeah, you can make a coat out of him now. Sold him to, um, what's his name? I forget his name now. It. Well, here's the thing. You could sell it to him now, and then you could get the coat whenever you've got enough cash to. He puts it in a bank, as it were. You don't have to buy it straight away. It's there forever now. Until you decide, I've got some money. Got some more camp upgrades, huh? That's good. Camp upgrades are always good. Right, how are we doing in there? Bit in there. So what we've got to do now is we've got to just wait for that to dry. And then we can paint on the uh, silver chrome. To get a better... It's going alright, actually. It's going alright. We've, uh, we've got the engines on the, on the rocket now. I uh, just got to paint, just paint in the uh, stands, the engine mounts. Uh, and then, obviously, we've got... Uh, We've got these things which go on here like that. So uh, I've got to put those on soon. They just sort of slip down onto there like that. Got the fins to go on. And then, and then it's just decals. And then that's stage one done. So we are getting there. I reckon we could get stage one done today. Yeah, we can get stage one done today. So let's zoom this up. Uh, so let's have a look at the engines. Here you go. There are the engines. There. I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah. Stage one is complete. Stage one complete. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite, but we're hoping to by the end of the day, Emperor. Time for another cigarette, anyway, while I wait for that paint to dry. That's the thing now, we've got, now that all things are coming together, it's time to wait for paint to dry. When I first started doing this stream, I would like think, right, I've got to do something else now, I've got to do something else. And it would just do my head in thinking about what I needed to do next. So, I'm pretty much going to just, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and get another cup of coffee. So I'll be right back.
Okay. Back once again. Uh, with a coffee. I'm still waiting for this paint to dry. So if you've got any questions... Oh, welcome. Who else is in here then? Who else have we got? Uh... One other person so hello welcome if you're new to the channel uh this is my model bench area um and i'm just building a saturn 5 apollo 11 and i'm just waiting for some paint to dry at the moment it doesn't take too long and i've just been i'm just taking a rest just went and got some coffee um so so yes that's that's what we're doing here uh it should be dry pretty soonish And then we're going to paint uh it's the uh engine mounts that i needed to paint black before i could paint them chrome so we're going to paint those so i'm just having a five minute break while i have a cigarette and a coffee so if there's anything you want to talk about go right ahead hit me up in the chat there it's all good oh Oops. Oh. Looks like I spilt my coffee. Jeez. I've got something to show you first, though. I printed this out for my niece. She's a big Tigger fan. Yeah, she's 20 years old, not a kid. <laughs> Uh, so I printed that out for her, uh, primed it. She wants to paint it herself. She likes ticker, so that's that done for her. Uh, what's the next thing on the list after this one is done? Hmm. Well, I have been requested to do my Subaru Impreza, but I think I might do another 3D print. So what I might do is I have got a choice. Uh, I've looked at the 3D print store to find some figures, and I can do... I'm rather interested in doing either a Darth Vader or a Darth Talon. So I'm not sure which one I should do. Um, I'm kind of inclined to do Darth Talon. I always I always found her fascinating. Um, that there was such... Like, to have a... None of the Sith Lords have like ever really been like like they've all been guys, haven't they? Like old men in the end <laughs> really. On on film at least. And I thought, you know, she's pretty cool. I might do a Darth Talon. Uh, and I also want to work out how Knowing me it's talent, yeah, Joanna. <laughs> knowing me it's talent. Um she's got these dual red lightsabers too. She dual wheels lightsabers and um, so what i'm what i want to do is try and work out a way to get them to light up but having said that darth vader is also from the empire strikes back that's when luke gets his hand cut off and he's stood on the platform where he cuts luke's hand off with the beams that he's sliced through and he's got his lightsaber a lightsaber and his uh, light panel and apparently all that lot can be lit up too and it's got you can do under lighting through the uh, grate of the platform he's st he stood on so I don't, I don't know which one to choose <laughs> one hand we have Darth Talon uh, the other hand we have all Darth Vader and I like them both I'm like what do I do so I'm wondering whether to do a 3D one of the 3D models um, but I'm gonna be getting on with a Subaru Impreza after that I think um, so what I might do is as I'm printing out the 3D model I will be getting on with the uh, Subaru Impreza so like um, today I could be working or oh, stream like today I'll be working on the Subaru Impreza but the 3D printer will be printing out my models why not both of them because they're quite large um, I'm not to say that I won't do both of them I'm just wondering which one to do next I want to do one at a time so I'm wondering which one to do first um, 
Uh, and then once that's done and I've moved on and done another model kit, I'll then go off and do another 3D print. And that would be one of the other ones. Uh, I've also got a couple of other 3D prints. I've got um, the character from Astroneer, which I thought I might just do as a silly little little project, just a fun little project. So I might do that one as well. Uh, I've got so many things in my brain pan and I've still got to finish Arthur Morgan. Um, he's all painted up and everything, but I've got to do the base for him. The base is all printed out, but I need to put him on the base. So that is something I need to do. So I've still got that to do. So I've got a whole list of things. <laughs> right, let's get back to it before you know, we lose any more viewers. But it might be Talon. But the trouble is with Talon, she's got a face. I'm not very good at faces. Not very good at faces. So what's that? That's platinum anyway. It's the silver. There we go. There's the silver. Um, <laughs> I was looking at the actual print descriptions and the pictures that they send with them because they they show you uh, they don't just show you how it's um put together they, they don't just show you what it's like when it's finished they show you what it's like when it's printed out or, or the parts as well and i was just scrolling through and then i realized i was like why has she got two backs why have they printed out two two backs two torsos and of course i was looking at the back side the, the rear of the prints so i went back one to have a look at the, the front of the prints they give you an option i'm not shitting you they give you an option to have a topless or not <laughs> oh my god okay all right right on. So whoever made it decided, oh, some, somebody's going to want to have her boobs out. Oh, good God. All right. So. <laughs> A decal. For, no, I don't think I could do that. No, it's about the um, highlights on the cheekbones and the face and all that lot. That I'm just, I struggle. The only good thing about it is. And this is why I kind of want to do her. Is because she's red. Which isn't a normal colour for a face. So by doing that. I can practice. I can practice my faces. Without it being too. Like obvious that it's wrong. Do you know what I mean? It's like... When I'd done Arthur Morgan, it was obvious that I'd screwed it up and I didn't know how to do faces. Uh, but if, you, if I was to do that, I could look at it and think, right, well... Yeah, okay, I need to do shades of red and pink and white. But I don't have to get a specific shade. <laughs> hey, Super Ribs! <laughs> no. I'm talking about a potential next 3D print. You gotta get skin colour like spot on, otherwise it looks wonky. So I thought with with Talon, her face is red, her skin's red, so it's not gonna be because uh, I don't have to make sure I get the perfect skin colour. So I can practice doing the um, tones without having to worry that the actual colour is wrong. That's what I thought was. I thought that'd be good to do faces on. But, uh, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? What am I doing? Put it out there like that. But it did make me laugh that whoever designed her... Oh, no, I've missed her. Whoever put her together decided that someone's going to want to do a topless, so give you the option to do boobs out. I was like, right, okay, well, we're not doing that. She's a Sith Lord, after all. Let's give her some respect.
Although I don't think I could probably do that on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it's coming on. Uh, it's coming on exceptionally well. I have to say, I'm really pleased with it. We're just painting up some of these um, engine mounts. I like to paint them black to start with because the chrome wasn't showing up. But now it's showing up much better. Yep, showing up real good now. Stage one should be pretty much finished today. Um, so, oh, Super Rivs, what the hell game are you playing today? <laughs> I just, I thought it. I was like, am I high? <laughs> what, what am I, what am I watching right now? This little big pixel man playing on a keyboard. I was just laughing my ass off. So I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> it helps if you're high. <laughs> oh right, okay. Uh, right, okay. Uh, I guess it was some kind of puzzle game. Um. I would have watched sooner, but my ass would have watched longer, but I had a delivery. It's good to see you back on Twitch, though, buddy. Or is that just because it was your birthday? Happy birthday, by the way. It just gets better and better. Cool, cool. what happens when you don't print on paint on top of a black ah, come Oh, yeah. oh, you've done your last Astroneer stream. You fed up of Astroneer now? Or have you just... Is, have you just done everything there is to do? Because that, that's the problem if you, like, sort of... Focus on one game and then you end up getting to the end of it. It's like, ah... Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> it's a good game, though. I want to try out. I want to check out Grounded. That's what Duana's playing at the moment. She freaking loves it. All right, that's all them painted up. All right, let's put the paint away now. You're not going to stream it anymore. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, you might want to check out Grounded. Uh, Joanna's loving that game. She's playing it right now, probably. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to finish this model. <laughs> well, this stage of the model, anyway. 
And it's not going to be finished yet because we also have to put on some decals. We have decals, one of my favorite things. I've been playing Grounded and allegedly it's crossplay. Oh, is it now? Wow. Interesting. Yeah, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. All right. Once I finish um, some of the other games I got on my stream, I will have to think. I'm thinking about playing it anyway. So that'd be fun. You don't need a server for that one either, do you? You can just play in the, in the other game. Right, okay. So right here are the fins. Let's see what we can... Oh, let's get a new cocktail stick. This one I do. This one's... Ah, ah, come here. Ah, there. There we go. Alright. No, no, I don't need to glue that. I just need to glue up here. Oh, no. Don't want to glue it over the top of the... I don't want to glue it over the top of the rocket, so I'm just going to move out of shot here. Alright, fingers crossed. Behave yourself, Mr. Mr. Finn. That's one. <laughs> a nudge is as good as a wink to a blind Duana. <laughs> She's not blind. I think someone's got a crush, I'm just saying. I think someone's got a fan. Okay, time for the next one. Okay, that one's on. All right, now we've got to be careful because now we're resting on the on the previous fins, so we've got to be super careful now. Super ribs. <laughs> super careful. Super ribs. The other thing I know is cross-platform ribs is, uh, and I was looking at playing this with Gaia a while ago, and that is um, 
Sea of Thieves. I had to think there what it's called down for a second. That's kind of fun, as long as you don't get bloated up. Careful is my middle name. <laughs> Super careful, Rivs. Well, yeah, I was looking at trying to get that going, and I don't know if... Uh, I'm not sure if Guy actually got it in the end. I know he said he was going to. Um... But I, I would like to get back into Sea of Thieves again. That was fun. <laughs> I just saw that. I just read that and I was like, mm-hmm. Okay. All about space. Okay. And why do you want to... Like... Grounded, that's not about space. I like pirates. All right. Both have it on a console. Oh, great. We'll have to sort something out then, Gaia. I'll have to I'll have to chat with you in Discord or something, you and the wife, see what you want to do, whether you want to play that. I kind of want to get back into it again. Right, that's another one done. <laughs> That's one beefy ass fucking rocket. Look at that. Right, next one. Yeah, you've you've told me that before, Joanna, and I I did I did have a play of it and I did like it. I have to say, uh, and I was thinking of. into it, doing a stream for it. Oh, I'm just uh, gluing this other fin. what I call a rocket engine cluster. That pond lab would have never have been found. Look at that. That looks so cool. Right, I'm going to put this to one side for a minute. Oh, and it stands up perfectly straight and erect. As a rocket should, you know what I mean? Right, here are the destructions. We have decals. We have decals. Right, decal 11. Decal 10. What's these? D, C, D, A, B, C, D. Right, so let's go and have a look to see what decals we've got in the box. Come on, little box. What have we got in here? What have you got for me? What have you got for me? Oh, yeah, decals. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks badass. I'm gonna have to take some pictures of that later and put it on my blog. Right, so we need decal 11 and decal 10. Right, and A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. Okay. Okay. Right. Alright, I'm just going to wait for the glue to dry on those. So we're going to have a bit of a cigarette. Wait till you reach the sunken ash tree lab. Ah. Oh no, this stream has just turned into a turned into a grounded discussion forum now, has it? <laughs> it's all good. Wait, what's this? What? I don't see that SIC6. What's going on here? Ah, there we are. SIC. Oh, wow. We have got a lot of decals put on. Uh, two, uh, four, three, two, one. Okay. And then we've got to put the SICs in between. All right, okay. So there are a lot of decals on this stage. But that's all right. We'll get that done. And then we can tick the box. Stage one complete. Complete. All right. Let's tidy up the glue and the paint. Because I'm not going to need that anymore. Famous last words. to my finger that's not going to be good right let's I might want to use gloves to do this if that's the case so I don't get dirt all over the white uh, right let's get out my decal thing and my knife a little exacto blade exacto blade scalpel scalpel yeah sticky fingers uh tweezers cut the toothpicks let's just clean off plate right uh, as far as decals go I might want to put some fix do I want to put fixer on it nah it's uh, leave a Stain on the black, so we try and do that as cleanly as possible. Uh, cotton buds, get the cigarettes out of the way. Right. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, playing grounded. That's so that's that's what that conversation's about. Let's 
It's all right. Joanna's made some tramampolines today. She finished making some tramampolines. She'll tell you all about her boingy adventures. And I don't mean in a rude way. <laughs> tell you all about how boingy she is. Uh, right. Um, does it matter which way around these go? So this is that. Just looking at that. A... B, right, okay. So, I don't think it matters which way around it goes. Okay. So, if that, that was A, was B, right, okay. Right, let's cut out some A's. Let's cut out the A's. I'm probably doing this off camera so you can't see it, but it's all good. It's all good. And then we just dump that in the water like so. Where's my tweezers? Tweezers. God damn it. There we go. Eight levels in three jumping. Quite like five seconds. Wow. Jumpy jumpy. Right, okay, so we're gonna put a on here and then flip it around and do the A on the other side. We've just got to wait for that to um, slide off the uh, mountain paper. I'm pretty impressed by this. It looks it's looking good already. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I also want to do the space shuttle because I love space. I love space. Uh, so I want to do the space shuttle too. be super fun to do um right, come on off yet yep here's one right here we go come on come on bad boy there you go there you go bad boy why we just dump that on so where does it go sort of uh, cotton balls Correct. Oh, don't move. go that's one flip it around All right, now it doesn't turn it around don't turn it around this way and it's got to go on here now
we go. So that one done. Numahor A. <laughs> right, so now we've got to do uh next one is B. And that goes on here, just about oh no, let's move the thing so you can see. Why don't I just lift this up a bit? There we go. This goes on here. So that's B. Oh, steady. God, dingus carry. Oh, I hate this song. Here it is again. It's called Voices in My Head. I have to remember to delete that one. I hate that song. Right. Now we've got to wait for that one to do. Ah, right. I've got hair on there. Just got to wait for that one to slip off of its mounting. And then uh, put that on. But yeah, I'm going to take some photos of this today because this, once the stage is complete, I want to put it up on my blog. Um, I haven't actually touched my blog for a while. I'm going to need to actually go back and do a couple of posts uh, with about Arthur Morgan as well. Um, he's pretty much done. Um, but I do want to do the base. So need to do that how are we doing in here are we coming off we are coming off good let's grab that grab it but fishing with these decals that one goes back in there That's the B on. There we go. B. Fin B. Right, now we've got to spin it around and do the B on the other side. It's just uh, easier for me to have it like this. Uh, I know it's probably... Here we go. You might be able to see more what I'm doing there. Oh, I tell you, this camera arm is just... Look brilliant, as opposed to what I used to have. Just a camera stuck to the shelf above it. Super investment, that is. Stay where you are. There we go, that's B. <clears throat> oh, it's a bit... I just sort of zoom in there. There we go. The B done. All right, back up here. So now we need to cut out C. So, right, what we can 
do is we could do the C on here first, since it's already orientated that way. Now you're just watching uh, glue unglue. That's what you're doing. ready yet. You may be wondering why don't I dip all the uh, soak all the decals that I'm going to need so that when I come to do them they're all already off. Trouble is with that if you put too many decals in there they start floating around and the longer you leave them in there the more they float around and then they end up sticking to one another. I'd rather they just sort of slide neatly off the uh, blue backing paper uh, than be floating around because that's when errors happen. That's when problems occur. Right, so that's ready to go. Okay, that's C. Oh, and the other one's already come off, so we need to now spin this around. Um, come on, get in there. Yeah, you should be able to see that just fine. See? I have to say, I love the decals. Um, decals are always kind of my favourite part, you know? So, you have to be exactly right with them. going to say now you just got to wait for the D now we just got to wait for the D 
Right. Uh, I said it. What are you going to do? Right. Just looking to see what else we've got. We've got those around. And we've got all of the decals that will go around here. Get in there. Right, let's just check to see how that's coming. Right, D is ready to go. So I just flip this around. There we go. Now I've got to go fishing for the D. <laughs> Put you back in there. Oh, God damn it. Right. That's that one on. Spin it around. There we go. There. Right. That's those done. Next up, we've got the ones that go around uh, the actual. We've got them that go around. Right. Let's try and bring this in a bit. Right. So I need to find where is B? There is B. Uh, and that is, so between B and C, just here, I believe, we have a decal that is three. So I see the decal I need. I'm going to cut it off. Oh, careful. Now next to that is also SIC6, so I need to cut out an SIC, right, 
that. Right, so between B and, B and, and, B and C, it's got to go... Um, just here. Just a bit above there, just a bit before. So it's just about here it's got to go. So hopefully it fits. And then SIC goes on the other side in the mid uh, towards here somewhere. So I'm not sure if we can get some light on that. I don't want the light to be in the way as I'm trying to work as well. How many left? Right, so straight down. Just come this way a bit. There we go. Get rid of that. Get another cotton bud. That one's getting dirty. Okay, now SIC. That. about here somewhere on the same level Okay. The decal number number four. Goes right on here on the on the edge. Okay. So I see. Right, I've just got to wait for that to come free.
Oh no, that goes. Four goes right on the edge. Okay, good. Uh, SIC goes right. Okay, good. Check in. Right. That's ready to go. Ah, right. Drop the cotton bud, but it's all right. I've got plenty more. that one. Now the SIC. Let's try and grab it's so tiny. Oh I've got it upside down. Perfect. All right. Spin it around. Now this is number one, so that goes right on the edge. And SIC goes, one goes there, SIC goes right in the middle here. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be a tricky one. It's gonna be right here. Right, okay. Oop. My mic's still working. Hopefully it is. Yeah, that's good. Alright, let's get rid of that blue piece of trash in the decal water. So close. We are so close here now. Uh, right, okay. Four more to do. that in there. Now we're going to cut out a SIC. Good. Right. Now i just got to leave them to soak. I'll just show you what they are. Show you where they are. They're in there. So little one there and there's number one there so they're all just soaking up ready all right let's put this back in the right place good that's got to leave them to soak
I really like that engine cluster. That looks really good. Do you think of how big that must have been? Like, because we've got these little, we've got these little fellas which go in the, uh, we've got little uh, astronauts which go in the top, and we'll have to compare them to the size of the engines. They are huge. Okay. Whoops, stay. Just float around there for a minute, buddy. We'll fix you a place to place to live. Just gotta move you in. Good. Oh, that was a bit. Right, I'm going to move that one around. a little bit better. There we go. Right. Uh, that is the placement of that one. Uh, yep. Yeah. Good. Another one. Another one done. Right, and then now I've got just the two and the SIC to go for that. So we'll cut out the number two. The Roman numerals for two. Put that in the plate. Where's the last SIC? Here we go. Okay. Right. Don't know what half of these letters mean, but they're going on there. I think what it is is to um, to work out the orientation. I think so. Um, when you see the like the letters on the fins, you can turn and go that engine. That's engine A. That's engine B. Um, middle engine, obviously. There's only one of those, uh, and then you can see the, the orientation of it, because um, they had those big old video cameras, those huge, with those huge lenses on that had to be operated by like a uh, hydraulics. And that's how we got the big pictures of it flying up the atmosphere, and I think. These letters were determine what the orientation of the pitch was. That's my guess. ready to go
Right, so that. Let's get rid of that one and use another cotton bud. Two goes. Ooh, half and half. Okay. Half on the black, half on the white. Good. And SIC is smack in the middle there. So let's grab that. Floating away. Looking surface tension. Stays it. Oh no! It's run off! <laughs> In surface tension, I swear to God. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's not it's not a fail. It's not a fail. I got this, I got this. There we go. So small, it just gets caught up with surface tension. There we go. Job done. All right, let me put the decal sheet back before it gets wet, which it already kind of has. Don't want to lose those decals. All right, so. We are finished. We are finished. Right, so I'm going to see if I can put this light on top of the monitor here. Just to kind of see if we can get a... No, okay. Oh, yes, we can. That's good. That works. Okay, so we have finished that. So let's go back to chatting here we go so here we are there's the rocket there's the engines badass and with the decals on there I know it's still a bit wet just water that just needs to dry it's not a problem yeah that's it that's done that's stage one complete <laughs> right okay let's move this light away so it doesn't light up my face too much um there, there, there. come here uh yeah so i'm pretty pleased with that <laughs> and yet i'm definitely going to do the idea of uh or definitely try and look into it uh, the idea of lighting up some LED strips with some uh, painted cotton wool underneath it to make it look like it's taken off. Uh, as it tends to be a display behind my computer monitor. Um, so yeah, I am really looking forward to like getting that working and up together. That's going to look really cool. Uh, um, right, so uh, where is... Right. Okay, so that's going to be it for me for me for today. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching and joining in. I love the conversations, so please keep that up, keep that up, um, keep chatting away in, in chat and whatnot. Uh, thanks so much for joining me tonight. I uh, really appreciate your support and everything. Uh, it means the world to me. So thank you very much. It keeps you going. Um, and yeah, so next time we're going to get on to stage two.
Have a good night, Rivs. Have a good night. So next time we're going to get on to stage two. And um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, stage one complete. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. Bye.